The only way our society can survive is for each of you to claim your rightful place. Today, you will take a test that will help you discover who you truly are. The future belongs to those who know where they belong. You've always played characters we want to root for, but not in this film. Was it more fun playing the bad character? And how did you prepare differently for this role? It was, um, it was just as much fun playing, playing a baddie as I think I've had playing other roles. And the way that the character of Janine is constructed in the book is very, very um, concise and detailed. I spent quite a lot of time with Veronica Roth, the novelist who wrote the books, and uh, she was really helpful too, just in describing to me Janine's mind and where she felt that she came from. And um, it, it was that that was the most helpful, I think. Your character, Janine, thinks divergence are a threat to society. How is she, as an individual, actually a, a bigger threat? Divergence are just people, you know, they are just human beings. Yes, they do possess a strain of every single faction within their blood, but at the end of the day, you know, we still don't know what a divergent could be capable of. Lots of wonderful things, possibly. And so um, Janine's desire to exterminate them is obviously much more of a threat um, to society. Plus, if she's capable of creating serums that she can inject into people that will get rid of them or brainwash them, then God knows what she can do. Amazing, isn't it? Everything we think of that makes up a person, thoughts, emotions, history, all wiped away by chemistry. Janine hosts the choosing ceremony where students have to commit to a faction lifestyle. What do you think about this ultimatum? And do you have any advice for students who feel different and don't fit in? One thing that I love about the story of Divergent, and when I read the book I was very struck by this, this idea that choosing your faction, choosing where you come from, you also have to go through the process of thinking about who you really are and who you really want to be in your life. And that I think is very important for young people, just to really take time to think, rather than just following someone else's lead or, or going with something that they think might be them really taking time to choose the type of person that they want to be and being true to your inner self. And what's so great about a film like Divergent is that it does, you know, it does have a female at the heart of it going through these things. And, um, and that's, you know, that's, that's new. I think we're seeing more young women playing these strong central characters in these films with big messages. And, um, and that's, that's important, that's inspirational. And uh, I like that film is going that way at the moment. You started acting at your local drama group and ended up with an incredible career. What have you learned that would have been great to share with your teenage self? <laughs> um, anything can happen. That's, that's what I've learned. Anything can happen. Because I wasn't supposed to have this career. This was not what I ever imagined at all. And so I think that's what I would share with probably any teenager actually, is anything can happen. Thank you so much. It was incredible Thank you. to meet you. Thank uh -huh, you. you too. Thank you. You're so sweet. All of my life I've lived by your rules. Not anymore.